He's on over here in the crankshaft. I got to finish cutting them last few trees right there. And then I'm going to hit that rim going around that way. Y'all see all that brush. That brush is rough. Cutting through that stud. Rough on all those lines right there. You have to constantly wash those lines. Just rubs on them. To make sure you don't stick something up into the lines. All right, let's flip the key on. You can hear that electric fuel pump. Yeah, here we go. Watch this uh, light right there. Gotta come on. That's hydraulic. Filter bypass, that means that oil is cold and it's bypassing that filter right now, which is fine. Just it gets warmed up. We run uh, AW68 all year round. We don't change oil to a 46 or anything like that when it gets cold. We just run the same oil year round because we don't have that much cold weather. So it takes just a second. And then once the oil gets a little bit warm, you can see it's already about done quit right there. Bypassing. It'll, uh, that light won't be coming on no more since it's not on now. It takes this thing a second to get all the oil warmed up, get it flowing like it's supposed to. Through these first few trees I cut, it'll be, it'll be a little slow. The hydraulics will be acting kind of funny on it. Well, I gotta have some fuel. Dad's done busted a hose on my loader. I'm gonna show y'all. See, it's got the nozzle on here, right? Quick. Uh, this is the best thing that Tiger Cat ever did, and every machine built on to be like this to uh, build it. You just plug that on up there. Hang on, I'll show you. You don't get any contamination or nothing. That's it, turn it on. And it'll automatically cut off when it uh, when it gets full. going got the land fixed we probably lost a good hour dealing with all that but we we're good about going to pull my seat belt down we're gonna go back to cutting here right quick lunch is over time to go back to the salt mines a little known fact i can't run that cutter or any cutter as far as that goes, wearing sunglasses. I just can't look through the sunglass and then the front glass 
it just it bothers me and the reason why is is because the glass on those machines stays so dirty from everything flying back at it all the time i just can't stand trying to look through both of them so i don't wear my i don't wear sunglasses while i'm while i'm running the cutter dude's hunting spot right here what uh what i'm doing when i got down here to it i said i better check these trees right here yeah let's see no that's a battery right there I said, I better check these trees right here, make sure there ain't no cameras somewhere right here that I'm finna smash. That's a big shooting house right there, too. I mean, big one. Yeah, look around for this stuff like this. I'm try to take care of it. Walk over here and look at it. He's missing stuff. I don't believe he's probably there, no. That one right there is about to fall apart. I bet that one hadn't been hunted in in a while. But look at here. Look right here behind the shooting house. There's a shooting house. These two screws right here. Look at that. And deer. That track right there. Isn't it? Surprise all these limbs ain't broke out. It's probably a small buck more than likely there look at all this they have been working all this needs to be hunting here like i said it's probably a small buck they don't have all this stuff broke all these limbs well he broke this and he's worked on that limb right there a little bit there's still ice right there on the ground it ain't ground still frozen it's trying to thaw a little bit but it's gonna freeze back see that 630 there. I'll tell the story behind that later. I don't know. We got some work going to be done on our 635. Our 635s up there some mods that, went that the fact that they're going to do at the dealer. So they were going to haul it to the dealer Monday. All that fell through, but they ended up bringing us that 630E right there. Chad's running it. He's on it. It's got the 40, that has got the 44s on it right there is what's on it. But I'm gonna fuel this thing again. That's the same day now. I don't fuel this thing once a day. It, it's got three quarters of a tank, but with a track cutter, anytime you're nearby the service trucks in the evenings or anything, even if you don't need fuel, it's always a good idea to top it off because you never know when you're going to sink that mug out there down to China and you may not be able to get fuel back to it. So it's always a good idea to keep that thing topped off. Let's show y'all again how it works. Vines are not a friend of this thing. Y'all see all them vines right there? What I've done, I've opened this engine compartment here. We're gonna climb all the way up here. See, I got some pruning shears, some lopers right there. I'll cut all these and get these off here. See, I'm up on top of it now, up here, all the way up on top of it. The Vines wrap around, they get around and around that boom. And they are so aggravating on this thing. It's trash, it just, that's just part of it. But the vines, you had to get them things out. So I cut, I already cut everything on the other side over there. I'm gonna cut, cut this one off, and that one right there, throw them off the back. And then I should be able to get those out 
down through there then. We were fighting with these vines one day. I told Derek, I said, man, let's get you some loafers, man. Cut them stupid things with. Rather than trying to pull them, because man, they get down there between this boom right here, and you can't pull them out. Let's see there. They just wrap around and around you, around you all day long. So now, heading toward the house. Got it all, got the machine all ready to go for tomorrow. Got it greased up and all the vines off of it. Got it parked up, ready. We'll, uh, I'm not sure when y'all gonna watch this video right here. I ain't sure, but I did notice I mentioned the other day about uh, checking to make sure you were still subscribed. There's evidently quite a lot of people who YouTube and then it's unsubscribed because I had like a couple hundred subscribed to me when I mentioned that. And uh, cause I had uh, one of my channels that I follow a good bit. I, I've been unsubscribed from it three times now. And I'm not sure what the deal is with YouTube sometimes, but so we'll be back at it again in the morning, bright eyed and bushy tailed again. It didn't really get out of the 30s today here, which for Mississippi, when it gets down around 20 in Mississippi, it's cold. And, uh, and they're talking about this next week, uh, some lows down around 10 degrees and the high is not even getting above freezing. So we'll see how that works out. Always interesting. <clears throat> I know some of the people who follow me a lot send me some snaps uh, and i'll get to that too here in just a second but uh this morning and you know it's 10 and 14 degrees below zero you know where they're located at i asked somebody one time last year i said man can you really tell us can you tell a difference between like zero and like 30 below he said no not really it's just cold man <laughs> but uh, this job that we're on, I don't hardly have any phone service at all. That's the reason why I, a video the other day didn't post till like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. I just didn't have no phone service to uh, to post it. And so if you text me or something like that or you send me a snap during the day, I won't get it till I get on out of here and get way on down the road. But uh, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. Uh, and if you want some Contact 3 gear, man, the, with the Contact 3 logo, got the big logo on the back. I've got everything on the website there. Uh, all you got to do is just click. There's a clickable link right down below. Also, uh, Amazon has offered me a store. Those of y'all who know Wrangler Star, follow him. He's got a store called Wrangler Mart. Well, I've pushed enough stuff through... Amazon through me on YouTube now that they have offered me my own store kind of like Wrangler Stars Wrangler Mart and you can there's a clickable link right down below I got a lot of stuff that I use on there you can see different stuff some of my gun stuff that I use uh, lights that I use is, is down is listed on there a lot of stuff and I'll be adding stuff to it and you just kind of you can click around you can click from there and go anywhere you want to on Amazon but uh, you can click click to my website or go to that store or right there either one so like everything I use film wise like my cameras all that stuff like that it's listed down below right there in that one link so you click on it and it opens you up to a page that's got everything on it so I'm gonna let y'all go from there catch y'all later later taters